Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be trying out a very exciting new foundation. It's the new Shiseido Revitalescence Skin Glow Foundation. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I don't know about you, but show me a Shiseido foundation and I'm interested because they make amazing foundations. I've loved both of their foundations and their skin tint have been amazing for me. They have great undertones as well in their shade ranges for me. So I'm I'm all in. And then you call it the Skin Glow Foundation. <laughs> yes, please. So, so far we've seen the self-refreshing, the Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation, which is a very full coverage kind of natural satin finish. And my absolute favorite so far was the Radiant Lifting Foundation, which is like one of my all time favorite foundations. This has slightly less coverage than the self-refreshing and it's a little glowier. So <laughs> of course it's my favorite. And this new foundation is like like Shiseido's skincare makeup hybrid. So the new Revitalescent Skin Glow Foundation is described as a buildable medium coverage skincare active foundation that delivers luminous results lasting long after makeup comes off and in just one week bare skin is smoother and brighter with visibly reduced fine lines. It features SPF 30, offers 24 hour hydration, 12 hour wear, is transfer resistant, crease resistant, fade resistant and gives you a healthy glowing finish literally every single word that just came out my mouth sounds delightful to me it sounds glorious this will set you back 49 pounds for the usual 30 mils one fluid ounce and it comes in this stunning bottle which i absolutely love it's very very different to any other foundation bottle i have so it's instantly recognizable in my drawer and it has a pump which we love we need one, okay? It's not a want, it's a need. So it was fan dabby dozy for me to know exactly what shade I needed. I have like three shades that I love. That's how many, I have a choice of shades that I love from Shiseido. The kind of fairest, lightest shade that I would ever use would be bamboo. And even in like starkest of winter, that one is a little too light for me. When I'm kind of in between like now, I love the shade maple, which is the shade that I went for in this new foundation. And then if I've just been on holiday, I'm super tanned in summer, then my favorite shade is Citrine. So I'm going to swatch the three shades for you so that it may help you choose your shade if you're looking to pick this one up. Okay, so this is concerning. I did these swatches on my hand and this middle shade is the new foundation in the shade Maple, which actually looks like quite noticeably lighter than bamboo. Bamboo shade is shade 330. This is in the Radiant Lifting Foundation and Maple is 350. So you would expect it to be deeper than 330, but this is looking quite a bit lighter. But interesting, I can actually see it darkening up as it's drying down, like literally on my hand. I don't know if you can see, let me show you. And then this is shade Citrine, which is obviously more tan. So these are the shades. This is 330, which is bamboo in the Radiant Lifting. Then we have 350 Maple in the new foundation. And then this is Citrine in the Radiant Lifting. These two look very close when I first swatched them. In fact, Maple actually looked lighter in the new foundation, but as it's sort of drying down, it's definitely deepening up. So it now is a little bit deeper than the bamboo shade so bear that in mind that it does seem to sort of dry down a little darker than when it first initially applies which is good news for me because when i first pumped it out i thought oh no <gasps> we've got a problem okay so let's get on with the application as always i'm priming my skin with the tom ford soft matte primer it has a nice sort of fresh skincare type of scent it's fairly runny but not very very watery so i am going to try this with a damp beauty blender and then a brush a makeup brush my sonia g this is the jumbo base from like the mini travel set so i'm going to do brush and sponge because i think this will work with both it's very interesting because this comes out when i first pump this out it looks so light but it really definitely is like whether it's oxidizing or it's drying down a bit deeper it seems to adjust so i'm starting off on this side with the sponge 
Mm, it does smell lovely, very skincare-y. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Like a lovely moisturiser. Not very overwhelming, doesn't smell, you know, like perfumey. It literally smells like I'm applying, applying <laughs> moisturiser. This is covering, it's covered my melasma spot quite well there with a sponge, given that this is a sort of more bead, beady bee, bead, bleh, medium buildable foundation. It's going on with this glorious glow. Definitely sort of has that serum foundation consistency for sure and as they do my sponge has like fully eaten that whole amount of the foundation which is the drawback from foundation I'm kind of building this just a little where I have discoloration because I don't want to get a full full coverage I don't think I would be able to get a full full coverage out of this foundation I just want to even out my skin tone. Okay, so this is with the sponge. <laughs> she is looking and juicy and fresh. This side, you can see my redness. The melasma is still definitely peeking through. This is not like a full, full coverage foundation, but it's definitely reduced how much, how prominent it is. And on this side with the sponge, beautiful glow a very natural coverage very natural finish but it's done a really nice job of evening everything up definitely no issues applying with a sponge other than it did like eat a lot of the product which is you know it's what sponges do so that was like a pump and a half with a sponge let's go in with the brush it looks so light when it initially applies but it really does settle down a little deeper and it really is a lovely shade for my skin tone at the moment, which is, like I said, kind of in between my tanned and my winter skin tone. Wow, okay, so, I mean, it took me three seconds to achieve with the brush what it did with the sponge. I just always would favor a brush because it just seems to be quicker for me, quicker, easier to get the coverage and just to apply in general and you don't lose as much product because those sponges they are product thieves so i mean i feel like it starts off as a sort of light medium coverage i've barely used like probably half of the amount of product that i pumped out this time and i've got a really nice very natural light medium coverage i'm going to build it up so we can sort of match the other side and really try and neutralize the discoloration blend everything together my melasma is definitely still going to peek through with this foundation which is fine it typically does because i don't love wearing very full coverage foundations so it's always just going to peek through a little bit unless i was to go in with a color corrector or a very full coverage foundation which i'd rather it peeked through and i kept a more skin like coverage so no issues either using the brush. I definitely got sort of the coverage that I wanted and the finish and everything and the application done a lot quicker. With the brush, I have used the full, the same amount that I used on this side. I just felt like I got to this place slightly more coverage probably than on the sponge side. I think sort of this area of melasma is peeking through a little more than it is on this side. But the main thing with the brush is it's just quicker quicker and easier but it's definitely going to be a foundation that you could use with whichever is your preference brush or sponge both worked beautifully my skin is looking stunning so juicy and glowy and fresh and healthy and natural i like the color it's definitely a bit lighter than my body which is what i thought we'll see i'm going to finish off my makeup and come back and see what the color is doing we're definitely going to do a bit of a wear test today i want to see if it oxidizes like more and more throughout the day hopefully not because i will start looking crazy at about 2 p.m i would predict but at the moment it's a nice kind of medium between like my neck and my body it's kind of matching everything up quite nicely and with bronzer and everything it's going to look lovely but the glow though delightful okay so i was very very quick it's probably only been like 15 20 minutes i've done the rest of my makeup everything went on top of the foundation beautifully no problems whatsoever i did not set 
my whole face or the foundation with powder because I have a normal skin type. I don't get especially oily, so I don't really need to set my full face and I don't like powdering my entire skin, but I did set under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, all of my kind of concealer areas. The foundation has kind of dried down a little. It's definitely settled into the skin, but if I touch my face, it feels very sticky still. Not sticky, I suppose tacky is the right word. And when I sort of touched my face, I actually got like a little bit of foundation like transfer. Like if I just show you where I touched my face, you can see on the wipe, there's, I don't know if you can see, but I can see there's a little bit of transfer onto my fingers. So it's interesting because the foundation does claim to be transfer resistant and at the moment it definitely isn't so i think this might take quite a while to sort of really settle down and really dry down so it'll be interesting to see one how that affects the color of the foundation hopefully not too much because at the moment we're at a nice kind of balanced shade between my body and my neck. It kind of doesn't look out of place, too starkly light against my body, but it's not quite matching my body, which means that my neck kind of is a nice continuation of the shade. The finish is glorious. I love this glowy, finish but it looks so fresh and healthy and it's very flattering at this moment i think it looks really good on all of my sort of lines texture etc around this area the muzzle zone as it's known here on my channel where i have you know lots of texture fine lines smile lines etc it's looking really nice in that area also above my brows is like an area where i have like you know tiny little fine lines that sometimes can be enhanced by foundation or made to look more exaggerated. My forehead is looking really good. It's looking really great around my nose and the coverage is just exactly what I like. I can still see my skin. It still looks, you know, fresh, healthy, natural skin, but it's really nicely balanced everything out and neutralized, you know, discoloration, redness, everything. It's really nice. This is exactly like my preference for a foundation. Sort of medium coverage foundation with a really nice natural luminous finish, but without it being unflattering on texture or exaggerating lines, etc. So at the moment we're in a very, very good place. So I have a pretty busy day today. It's the school holidays. I'm supposed to be on holiday myself, but I just couldn't help myself. I wanted to try this foundation out with you guys. You know, when Shiseido drops a new foundation, you come back off holiday and you try it. <laughs> or at least I do, apparently. My children today actually are at a gymnastics camp, which is hence the reason I had time to film this today. And my husband is taking me for brunch and then we're going to see Oppenheim it's actually the 11th anniversary of the day that he proposed to me in the Jardin de Plantes in Paris. So we're going to go and have a lovely brunch, watch a film together at the cinema and then pick my children up and then I will be back to show you how this foundation has worn, fingers crossed, because at this moment it looks beautiful. It's definitely top drawer worthy. I just, I need it to wear well. I need it to not get any darker throughout this day. I really don't want to emerge from the cinema looking bonkers, okay? Looking like two different people, looking like I did my makeup while I was in there, you know, in the dark. So everybody, fingers crossed, next time you see me that I, I look vaguely like this. <laughs> let's, let's, we can only hope. <sighs> okay, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow, she looks horrendous. <laughs> she looks like a bag of moles. But let me explain, okay? This is not the foundation's fault. I look awful, I look horrendous. My mascara is all over my face. I've got tear stains <laughs> all across both cheeks. It is now almost 11 p.m. and now I scratch my face. It's almost 11 p.m here this is not I did not intend to do like a 14 hour wear test today I was going to do a usual like eight hours and that would have been you know a fair wear of this foundation but there's been a horrendous turn of events I won't give you the full-on story the short version is that my daughter very very sadly broke her arm at her gymnastics camp today very badly in two places and I've spent the last 10 hours in various hospitals with her crying constantly throughout that time obviously lots of cuddles and all that that stuff and I've literally just got home she's now 
thank goodness, casted up and sleeping like a baby who's been pumped full of all kinds of drugs to get us through the last many hours of utter hell. So this foundation has definitely not been through the normal wear test, as you can probably tell. But I thought it was worth, you know, I felt like I've started so I will finish this video. That's, we're powering through today of all power of the throughs that have ever happened, this is the winner. So clearly I've been crying. I've cried a lot, many, 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 many tears today. It's not been a, a usual fair test for the foundation. But to be fair, I thought about sort of tidying all of my mascara up and all of that stuff. And then it wouldn't really be that bad given what we've been through today, given that I think I started applying the foundation at like 9am and it's now 11 at night and it's not been like a casual day, let's say. It's it really doesn't look that bad. I feel like if I just powdered a little bit, and obviously my mascara and concealer situation is hor horrifying, it would actually look okay. Like my forehead at a, a sort of more reasonable time was a little, getting a little shiny. And as you can see, my chin is essentially completely naked, but it's, you know, I've been like cuddling my daughter. She's been like buried in me. I've been like, you know, supporting her through many, many, awful procedures today. So yeah, I will say it's definitely not done badly given the conditions. If you are wondering how this compares to the other Shiseido foundations, it doesn't have as much coverage as the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing and it's glowier than that. It has probably a hair less coverage, I would say, than the Synchro, what's Radiant Lifting, the Radiant Lifting, the Synchro Skin no, the self the radiant lifting, okay? It's been a long day. This one then has the kind of skincare element in there as well, the sort of serum foundation, skincare goodies within. So it's really up to you. I think if you want more coverage, definitely go for the Synchro Skin self-refreshing. If you want something more of like a, a regular day-to-day -day foundation that's beautiful, natural, nice and glowy, wears decently, then you may want the radiant lifting. If you want the skincare benefits as well, then this would be the one for you. I'm absolutely going to keep testing this on more fair days, <laughs> let me say, because today was not one of them. But I will say I was actually flabbergasted. There was a single shred of it left on my face when I got home. I actually thought, like I was afraid to look in the mirror for what I would look like. And it was not as bad as I thought. Okay, let me say. It actually looks okay. I could have like touched it up. That would have been sort of unfair, but I could have done that. And then I feel like actually it would have looked okay. Like you can literally still see cheek product, even though I've wept the tears of a thousand people. Okay. Yes, the chin is gone, but that's been rubbed all over the place. It definitely did dry down. So it wasn't as tacky after a little while, but I will say, I don't think this is going to be transfer proof. That's the one claim that I'm like, mm, I'm not sure it's going to live up to being transfer resistant even because it did always and still now feels a little unset. So that's the one that I'd be like, mm. I'd say for like, what are we, 12, 14 hours of, of hell, Fair play, Shiseido. Fair play. So this is obviously not the wear test or the update or the usual standard finish to a foundation review. I think we can all accept that. But it is a finish, you know, and sometimes you have to just take what you're given. <laughs> what life throws at you. But thank you all so, so much for your support and your well wishes for my daughter. She is now really great. Her arm is all casted and we've started the healing journey and thank goodness because she was so brave, like an absolute warrior through this resetting, repositioning, realigning, whatever you want to call it, oh, torturous, torture process. We avoided surgery, which was the really terrifying thing that we were really worried was gonna happen for a long time today. So fingers crossed now, it's just about healing. She's okay, she's happy, she's sleeping, she's all good. We're all good, we're all gonna be good. But as far as this foundation, I will keep testing it. I'm a big fan of the bottle, it's got a lot of potential. And if it can get me through this day without making me look like an utter melted cappuccino foam looking, mad person, 
<laughs> then I, what else can it do? You know, what more could you want? <sighs> so I'm off to dive headfirst into a litre of tea and I'm going to have a soak and then I'm going to go to bed and sleep and forget this day ever happened. <laughs> I will keep you posted in my monthly roundup on how I'm getting on with this foundation over the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye 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 bye.